We have dancers from Japan who are uh, some of the most talented dancers in Tokyo. And they are going to do a calligraphy and dance. And also samurai, a warrior's dance, which is uh, very, very traditional. And kabuki theater, which is one of the highlights of the district of Kyoto. We also have the taiko drummers who play on big Japanese drums and war dances. In addition, we have classes for children in Japanese calligraphy, in origami, in how to make ramen, how to do a little bit of karate, how to make sushi. And it's like a wonderful meld of an experience. And we have 5,000 lanterns painted by children. And they have painted their idea of happiness. What makes them happy? What makes them joyful? What makes them really imagine what a world of color and rainbows looks like? And so they have painted these lanterns which will be lighted up. In addition, at the Piramal Art Museum, we have a show of the most beautiful screens which are from the Edo period in Japan. And they depict uh, their masterpieces. They depict the life in Kyoto and also samurai warriors. And they are the traditional way of making Japanese screens. We also have uh, beautiful paper lanterns, which were a collaboration in the London Design Biennale by a group of English designers with a Japanese lantern making firm in Ozeki, in Tokyo, uh, Japan. And they together have made a Horaku lantern, which is going to be shown. We also have beautiful ceramics and antique kimonos, and we have beautiful wood block prints. So it is about discovering the art of Japan, the aesthetic beauty, the simplicity, the very sharp lines, and the, their idea of beauty is in everything that they do, in the way they make their food, in the way they depict their art, in their dress, in their manners, in the way they talk to each other respectfully. So the Japanese aesthetic is, I think, pervading the spirit of this year's Aranya Festival and Japanese Lantern Festival that we are celebrating this weekend and the next weekend. So please do join us. It will be a very eye-opening uh, you know, experience of the traditional and the modern aspect.